MPs in Parliament have called for the Bank of Ghana governor and his two deputies to resign due to issues such as a loss of 60.2 billion cities and mismanagement. The MPs and other groups hit the streets to demand that the three central bank officials resign after public engagements and news conferences. But the majority leader, Osei Chaimen Sabonsu, says the minority MPs jumped the cut and cannot guarantee his side's support. The yeah, members of parliament, we could have invited the governor to come and talk to issues that are not clear to us. You go on a demonstration, you organize a press conference against them, what you think is happening within the corridors, and then you go on a demonstration. Then you come back to parliament to move a motion. Do you want me to support that? Like now you have made up your mind that whatever has been done by them it's inappropriate, I'm not going to countenance it, you bring him. So if he comes to explain, are you going to take it or jettison it? That, oh, I've made up my mind, don't convince me with facts. Some of the minority MPs claimed the governor was invited to parliament multiple times, but he failed to attend. But the majority leader deemed this untrue. And Stadison is a coward. And we had stated earlier on that we were sure he wouldn't show up. Because, I, I mean, for seven years I've been on the Public Accounts Committee. The, the Public Accounts Committee invites the Bank of Ghana at least twice a year. He's appeared only three times in seven years, so it's not, it's not strange. I, 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 I don't know what he's saying. I don't know of that. You don't go out there and throw dust into the eyes of the people and give a dog a bad name to hang it. It's not right. The legislators appear divided even before the House resumes for the matter to be tabled. But is this the best course of action? Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.